I am here. I am recovering ill a bit. Last night, my voice was completely gone. Today, I rested it. It still hurts like a son of a bitch, but I'm here. But you sound far less like you're dying. Hmm. It's because I didn't so say... I how... like, feel like you're dying. We don't have to know about it. And it's that's what's important. That's because I didn't like say a word since pretty much I went off the air last night until I started up again today. You didn't even yell at Grady? No. I've been like snapping my fingers at him a whole lot. Which has done nothing. Absolutely it, it does abs He's been yelling at me because normally I talk to him and he responds. He's like, Excuse me, human. He's like, why, why aren't you talking back? What? That's, that's not cool. What? 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 So he's been a little freaked out by that. What's funny is the cats, if I yell at them, they don't do shit. If Dan yells at them, <laughs> Peggy likes to Peggy likes to challenge Dan. She's like the teenager that has to like lash out to get daddy's attention. So she will purposely like get up on the dining room table and he will yell at her and she'll just go. <laughs> and he takes one step towards her and she's like, okay, I'm sorry. So this week has been interesting, huh? It's only fucking Wednesday. It's only Wednesday. I'm pretty sure by Friday we're going to be like planning our first Hunger Games in this country. There is something I should clear up. There, uh, We had a certain YouTuber who was shocked and horrified to find out that I'm a feminist. And he's not going to watch anymore because of it. So I'm sorry I lost you a viewer. But also, fuck that guy. What? And there were a few other people who were trying to comfort them by being like, no, Tara just likes to troll people. I do. But I'm also feminist as fuck. How do, and if you like it, is, go to hell. Is, where have they been for the past, what, how long? Right? I've been doing this since <laughs> what, what show have you been watching? He's like, well, I, I've been watching for three years, but now that Tara's a feminist. They've I, been doing I, this for seven I, years. What show you been watching? Next I mean, thing you know, they'll be like, when did cats start showing up on this stream? I know. I fucking hate cats. Like, when did that happen? When did Nash grow a beard? Ridiculous. Like, I don't know. Maybe he was watching with the with the sound down. I, I, I... So I'm very sorry that I lost you a viewer. But I would like to assure you all but that is not one of the things I'm trolling about. No. All right, let's let's get the fucking intro. I just run around cutting off dicks everywhere I go. Yay! And then you mail them to Brian Fuller, and he can put them on American Gods. Where do you think he gets them? Where do you think <laughs> they got the Fedora prosthetic? <laughs> that was one of my ex-boyfriends. You made me mad. Each week. Catherine, any of their audience go out in the world wide interwebs. I know it's such a horrible stuff. Bring it back here for a little segment. We like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And I crazy. swear to God, I didn't plan I'm this. Guess where you. we're starting this week? So Florida? No! DC? Yes! Oh! I mean, it is a shit show. Can you guess which exact address? 1600 Pennsylvania. Yes! I swear to God I did not plan this. It fucking happened. Where did I get the fire spewing dick? Ugh. That might be why he died. It fucking happened again. <laughs> they were talking about this on Twitter last night. That the White House was in lockdown because somebody jumped the fence, and the best retweet I saw of it was, which way? <laughs> yeah, in or out. We... <laughs> White House fence jump arrested. The Secret Service arrested a person who jumped a barrier outside the White House grounds Tuesday afternoon. Secret Service said in a statement, the person jumped a bike rack on Pennsylvania Avenue before attempting to climb the White House North fence. The person was taken into custody by officers by the Secret Service Uniform Division. Man, you picked the wrong week. Yeah. Like, what? who is trying to get in at this point? Seriously? You're the guy running into the fire. You're Jeff Goldblum driving towards D.C. and in Independence Day. <laughs> Nobody else wants to get in there. 
You, for fuck's sake! How have they not figured this out by now? This, you picked the, I mean, because, Jesus Christ, do you, if you actually got in there, and you got anywhere near him, he might eat you! Well, Bannon might. Well, yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. You yeah. hear Peggy? Yes, I hear. Weak. What's up, Peggy? Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Can you not find a human? Oh, did Daddy go downstairs to shoot Russians? <laughs> Come here. Oh. Hi. Say hi to the internet. They haven't seen you in weeks. They miss you. See? Giant ass ear. Oh, say that. Her ears actually work. You'll hurt her feelings. No, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're like the Beyonce of cats. Don't listen to him. You're fabulous. I, I just... How? All right. Let's put aside all of the Trump stuff for five seconds, hard as it may be. How have you? This was happening with Obama. I know. How? Do, why do people think this is going to work? For not, me, I'm special. And why does it work to the extent that it does? <laughs> how is this a problem we have not solved? Because have I mean? I mean, I know you can't turn the White House into a fucking fortress, like. You don't want to turn it into Mordor. No, but you know, you could like, but, you could like set up like some motion sensors on the inside. Something. When someone lands on the inside of the fence, all of a sudden, like gun sounds start going off. Like the like, state gun sound? Yeah, just like, bye, 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 bye. And they're like, oh God. Just so they'll drop to the ground. Exactly. And... That would deter the fuck out of motherfucker. That's kind of really clever. You know? I can't believe they haven't thought about that. You don't actually have to shoot them. You just make some noises. And they yeah. piss themselves. And they'll stay immobile because they piss themselves. That's kind of really clever. It is. Like, why don't they do that for riot control instead of actually gassing people? Just throw out, like, a steam grenade. Well, because we're racist as fuck, Kara. Yeah. We're racist as fuck. Well, uh, like, you could frighten people into leaving yeah. without actually having to harm them. Oh, now this next one. I need a new douche quick. I, I need a new like an overlay or something. Cause I'm kind of surprised you don't have that already. I should. Yeah, I need to take some time out and just, ooh, you touch my tra la la. Because everyone, I, I've seen a lot of people, especially in our timeline, talking about this, mo this mother fucker right here. Austin, Texas. Oh, this asshole. Man sues date for texting during movie. Man is suing a Round Rock woman for texting during a movie date. The Barton Creek Square Theater. Brandon Vesmar, 37, of Austin, filed the claim Thursday against his date. He is asking for $17.31. Which, by the way, just filing the lawsuit <clears throat> costs 100 something dollars. Yeah, which was the price of the movie ticket to a 3D showing of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. A five-year-old woman reached by phone on Tuesday, said she didn't know about the claim against her. She asked her name not be used. Oh my God, she said, this is crazy. Yes. Vesmar, who has his own online communications consulting company, said he met the woman online, went on a date, their first date, May 6th of the movie, Quote, it was kind of the first date from hell. About five minutes after the movie began, his date started texting on her phone. Which is rude as fuck. That's his first date from hell. But yeah, I like, if that's the worst first date you've been on, you're lucky. Because let me tell you about the guy I went out with who sat there critiquing this show on our date and telling me how funny I'm not. And then bitch that I was wearing heels and lying about my height. Yeah. And told me how he likes to abuse his friend's rescue dog to make him angry. Yeah, that, but yeah, texting during the movie, that's, oh my God. I, it, and, and to make it worse, let's, let's, let's look at this asshole because he's hopped on Twitter. Yeah. He, he is, I, I've got to bring up his Twitter feed now because this... This asshole. And he's. And didn't he like stalk her out? 
Yeah. Like he messaged everybody with the same last name as her to find her address. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, let, let's see. Let, uh, I'm finding the tweet here. Um. Oh, he, he reads Drudge, which uh, that that says a lot. <laughs> and he got a date. Yeah, I know. Uh, let's see. He didn't support Trump through the entire campaign. So, you Just know. Just after the Access Hollywood thing. Here's the tweet. Here's here's the fucking, this, this fucking guy. You douche. You amazing, creepy-ass douche. Got a text today from a friend in social media in SF. I'm hoping he means San Francisco. He said several female co-workers had called me their hero. The issue is gender blind. To an extent, I will agree, because texting in the theater makes you an asshole no matter what gender you are. It, that runs across every line there is. If you text in the movies, you're an asshole. I know they're trying to make it acceptable, and someday it will be acceptable, like wearing white after Labor Day, but fuck that, it's not. But the answer to that is not to file a lawsuit. Like if we sued everybody who did something kind of dickish and annoying, nobody would ever get anything done. I, I'm, I'm just wondering, is, is his friend named Drandon Besmar or something? Is, is that... <laughs> His name is George Glass, and he lives <laughs> <was> Canada. <laughs> I just, it, mother. And he's completely real. Gentlemen, you are not entitled to shit, okay? You go on a date, you are not entitled to be entertained by your date, you are not entitled to be engaged by your date, you are not entitled to anything from your date. You are two human beings, in a social interaction. It is not a fucking transaction. Okay? And if the other person... Say, the one thing I will say in his defense is it sounds like this chick was being rude. Like, you don't go on a date with so somebody what? and text the whole time. So what? You know what? If You don't go to a movie and text the whole time. That's rude as fuck. A date is not a transaction. But you are overreacting like... Yeah, but it's... Like just, just don't go out with her again. It's, it's, a date is not a transaction. It is a social interaction to see how you and another person interact and if you like each other. And obviously you didn't. Oh, well, fuck, it happens. You had a bad date, you go home, you fucking deal. You don't go out with them again. That's, yeah. That's what you do about that. You don't, you don't and you especially again. don't hop onto Twitter after su stalking someone for their information and suing them and make yep. yourself out to be a goddamn martyr for men everywhere. Fuck you. Yep. Fuck you. Oosh. Oh, and speaking of God, giving people a bad name. I'm a YouTuber. Obviously, I make stuff for YouTube, make videos for YouTube. And if, if you've been following along, YouTube's been having a rough time lately. The advertisers and shit. And people are like, well, we're not all racist. We're not all Nazis. No, 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 you're right. You're absolutely right. People on, not you everyone. You are very much not a Nazi. Not everyone on YouTube is a Nazi or a racist. Or I would definitely not be on this show. Some of them are just fucking idiot. Popular YouTuber gets arrested for prank removal of real stop signs. That's not a prank. YouTuber going by the name Ross Creations is one of is one of those loathsome channel operators who doesn't really understand what a prank is. Recently, he removed some stop signs that he deemed unnecessary, and now he's been arrested. In a video That's not your call. It gets better. A video published to his channel, Ross is pleading with his half a million subscribers to donate to his legal fund. No. 
you don't got here yourself, you get out yourself. You dumb fucker. You don't just get to say it was just a prank, bro, and do whatever the fuck you want. No, that's not, that's not a get out of jail free card. It doesn't work. It's, it's a, you videotaped yourself committing a crime. You put it on the internet. You gave the people, by the way, the reason it's crime is because stop signs are there to protect people oh he thought they to make were driving safer he thought they were superfluous no one gives a fuck what he thinks exactly i guarantee you not a single person has ever asked him do you think we need this stop sign and to ask to have the audacity all right look i've asked my audience for help on things before every year to, yeah. in order to broadcast live music we have to pay a license fee you guys are great about that you know what i wouldn't ask you to do if I went out driving drunk, if I went out, you know, running down the street. If you actually stole the Olympic torch. If I actually stole the Olympic torch. If I went out and like ran over someone's fucking emu or some goddamn thing or other. I would not be hopping on the internet and go, you know what, guys? I could use some help with a lawyer here. I would not. You know why? Because I did that shit. And it was illegal. And I shouldn't have fucking done it. Yeah. And you don't get your audience to get through. Well, my audience will think, no, it's not an entitlement thing here. Also, I feel like, like, you don't like asking for money for the licensing, but your audience benefits from that. Yeah, they don't benefit from keeping your ass out of jail. And you're not, guess what? They're not keeping you out of jail. I don't care how good your lawyer is. You're either paying a big ass fine or you're doing community service or you're at, your ass is getting a record. You know what you're going to be removing from the side of the road for the next few months? Garbage. Poop. In nice orange vest. Yeah. Because you're an idiot. Hey, just just a word of advice. Those yellow marigold gloves. Yeah, they look a little froofy, but the first time you find your your first used condom, you're gonna be glad you had them. Just saying. Just saying. Does that help my lighting or hurt it? Hurt it. Okay. You look fine. I am lit to the nines in here, and my picture looks really dark to me. Now for a completely different sort of dick. Yes, Dan is sick, and that is him coughing in oh, the background. Uh, I think he has the same thing poor Nash has. <clears throat> Yay. Uh, Everybody's flimmy. Yay. Um, this next one... This next one comes from uh, Portland, Oregon. I... So it's going to be a fight over bicycles and mustaches or something. Oh, Tara, 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 Tara. My I mean, come on. my sweet summer child. Man found masturbating vigorously says he did it because he hates Portland. <laughs> <laughs> I have no complaints with this. Portland police say they've arrested a man for allegedly masturbating vigorously outside a nonprofit. Someone called 911 on May 3rd report they saw a man exposing himself outside New Avenues for Youth on Southwest 9th okay. Avenue. I have a problem with that. When officers responded, several witnesses pointed out the suspect whose, quote, erect penis was exposed to the public while he masturbated vigorously, court documents say. An officer asked him why he was doing that in public. The man said he was on meth, wanted to go back to prison, and said he, quote, fucking hates Portland, documents say. You know, that's hard to argue with. Terry Lee Andreessen was arrested on felony charges in public. But if you're going to jerk off in public, just go behind the 7-Eleven like everybody else, not at the youth charity. That's like extra jail time because they're minors. Hater baiting. Hater baiting. We've, we've got a new word. That's a hater, thing. Hater baiting. It's like hate fucking, but by yourself. I just, it, what, it, I, it, of all the I mean, ways. I'm not sure I see the connection between hating a place so much that you have to master, like, Like, was he just going to go to every corner in Portland and soil it? 
And what does that say about his estimation of his own manhood? Because he, I hate Portland so much, I'm going to show you my dick. Buddy, man, a little self-esteem. It, well, it can't no, be I that thinking, bad. Like, I hate Portland so much, I'm going to spooge on every fucking corner. Normally, file you. Well, if porn that's is to, if porn is to be, be believed, when you spooge on someone, that's a good thing. But I mean, if they want you to, <clears throat> just it. Why? And the look on his face right I mean, there. Showing someone your dick unsolicited is definitely not a good thing. No, so. it's not. Grady, what are you on meth, I want to go back to prison and I fucking hate this town. <laughs> Obviously, the answer is public masturbation. Look at that mugshot, though. My God. Yeah, that is a man without a fuck. <laughs> Do you hear this back here? I hear, like, scratching. Oh, is he attacking the green screen? No, I, I replaced, you know, those little spinny track things with the plat yes. with the cardboard scratcher in the middle i replaced the cardboard scratcher and he's like oh this is so he's now he's fucking with it again i saw a very ominous cat shadow behind <sighs> there like like he was gonna stab you in the shower if only he had thumbs meow 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 next up god we've got another asshole i mean that's kind of our bread and butter <laughs> assholes is kind of what we do I'm just, I have such a low tolerance for them this week, though. I, I just, I'm, I'm at this much. I'm gonna let this headline speak for itself. God damn. God, just, this. Okay. Pasco, and it's fucking Florida, of course. Pasco County, Florida, an 18-year-old is facing misdemeanor charges after Pasco County Sheriff said he and his friend terrorized a little girl. Sheriff no. Chris Nako said videos, they videoed it, showed Drew Brentnall and another teenager chasing the nine-year-old child as she walked home from school. The Brentnall recorded the incident on his phone. Brentnall told deputies he and his friend were recreating a Japanese anime character as the one teen charged after her. Her little girl to gas, she thought she was in clear and eminent danger. Suing misdemeanor assault charges. In phone conversations, Brentnall and his family they said they believe the whole incident is ridiculous. And they've hired an attorney. No, it's not ridiculous because he terrorized a child. I do love the sheriff's statement on this. Okay, I, I love this. I've got to read this in appropriate Southern voice here. Oh, yeah. We got 18-year-olds leaving to go off to college. 18-year-olds starting their career. 18-year-olds sacrificing their lives, going overseas to defend our liberty and what America stands for. Then you got this moron stand out there creating a Japanese anime, whatever it's called, said the sheriff. That is a quote. <laughs> that is an actual <laughs> fucking quote. Like, keep your cosplay for the cons, dude. I love or, people. Or cosplay anytime you want. But it's kind of like kink. Your kink is only not okay when you inflict it on people who don't want it. People in the channel are asking, what anime was it? Who the fuck cares? Who cares? Who the fuck cares? It doesn't matter if he was dressed up like fucking Sailor Moon or that's... Pretty much the only anime I can name. So somebody from a scary one. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I just, I, mother, just, what? Oh no, we were just doing a thing for me. Just because it's a reference, that does not make it okay. No. You cannot run after other people's children because those children have parents and they don't like it when you do that shit. No. And the children don't like it either. No. You fucking idiots. Why would you... Why? What do you think? Oh, no, wait, officer. It's okay. I'm doing a thing from an anime. It's fine. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Well, yeah, I forgot there's a statue here that says, 
you can't do this unless you're doing a reference from an oh, anime. From an anime. Yeah, you're fine. I'm sorry to bother you. Please go about your day. You're fine. You're having a great day. Not how that works. Last one. Oh, this another one of these entitled motherfuckers, and who also hopped on fucking the internet. Uh, okay. Climbing Mount Everest is not a small matter. No. It's been done by a lot of people. It's killed a lot of people. And the problem with having so many people having climbed Everest is they've made a disaster of it. Mm -hmm. There is all sorts of trash and ecological damage on Mount Everest from so many people. Humans can ruin anything. So it's Nepal no longer allows people to just tromp up Everest. They charge a, a fee. Because you can't just, if someone goes up Everest and leaves a bunch of shit strewn around and fuck stuff up, you can't just just trot on over and pick it all up. They have right. to climb up there. They have to also climb Mount Everest to clean up your shit. So it's not free to climb Mount Everest. It costs 8,000 uh, 8, pounds. This guy decided, nah. Climber caught hiding in cave to avoid paying 8,000 pounds to climb Everest. Everyone knows that climbing Mount Everest is not easy, but it's also not cheap. Foreign climbers who want to scale the 8,848-meter 8 peak, that's 29,030 feet for us stupid Americans, must pay the Nepalese government 8,000 pounds to gain a permit. But this South African adventurer wanted the glory of scaling the world's, world's highest mountain without having to fork out the cash to do it. Sadly for Ryan Sean Davey, 43, older than us, who had climbed alone as far as Camp 2, which is 6,400 meters high, he was rumbled after being caught hiding in a cave. <clears throat> On Facebook... Uh, Davey later wrote, this news is probably going to make a lot of people upset with me, and I really hope you all forgive me. He admitted his Everest, Everest expedition had taken a bad turn. I, I, I took a chance and spent the little money I had on more gear to climb. It sounds like he crowdfunded his expedition, but didn't raise enough. Yeah. So he went anyway. Fortunately, the system caught up with me and eventually captured by the... He calls them the Mountain Orcs. After two entries into the ice falls and managing an ascent of 24,000 feet, expedition companies have no time for wannabe Everesters with no money, so someone turned me in. They took his passport. He could be banned from Nepal for five years, face a 10-year ban on climbing. He would be also fined 16,000 pounds which is double the cost of the permit. Yeah. Davy told officials he didn't have enough money to buy a flight from Everest to Kathmandu to collect his passport. Since then, a friend has posted on his Facebook wall asking for others to help. No. Because if I fuck up, everybody else should pay for it. No. Not only was this entitled, mm. the total asshole thing to do, douchey, it was really stupid because the reason that people climb Everest in groups is sort of something horrible fucking happens to you, somebody knows about it. Oh. You just climb Everest alone, without any paperwork, without anybody knowing, and you fucking die. Totally in the channel goes, now that's Nepaling. But like, what happens if you fall and break your leg halfway up? The fuck are you going to do? <sighs> Nobody knows you're there. I, Dumbass. <clears throat> the, they're asking for $22,000 from people to clean up his fucking... You know what? Maybe... If you had just waited and saved the money. Yeah. Now, yeah, 8,000 pounds is not chump change. 
That's a lot of money. But this, if climbing the Everest, if it was that important to you. If this was like your life's dream. You could have saved. You could have put away for it. You could have done the work. Yeah. You could have even taken out a fucking loan. Yeah. Or sold your shit. Or you could just say, fuck it, you're not the boss of me. Yeah, no, you you don't. He's a Himalay hole. Okay, that's that's. <laughs> Come here. Come here, you little furry nonsense. You want to get in on this? You want to get in on this? I got you. Whoops. Hey, Whoops. hi. Where's your hi, sister? Green. It's your sister. Oh, oh, get that dot. Get it. Jump. Jump so they can see you. She's not going to jump so the internet can see her, Tara. Jump. Jump. She's a good jumper. Peggy, jump. Oh, oh. I don't know if you can see her. I'm on a delay. Meanwhile, I have this thing. Meanwhile, you have the floof. I agree. The unstoppable, inscrutable floof. So, yeah, what have we learned this week? Come here, Peggy. I guess the first thing we learned is um, if you can't afford something, you don't get to do it anyway. Right. You don't get to do it anyway. That's <clears throat> It's not fair, but it's the way the world is. Yes. I would really like a couture wardrobe. But I can't fucking afford that. Yeah. They, so I shop at fucking Old Navy and Uniqlo. You don't just get to do things because you want to do them. We've learned that, uh, and again, just because you think you have a good reason for doing something illegal, that does not mean it's not still illegal. Yeah, that doesn't negate the law. And also... It was just a prank, not a good defense in court. That's that's not I I, I I was I was playing anime. No, that's that's not a good defense. We've learned just because you really hate something does not mean you should start jerking off at it. Or you know, that's fine, but do it at home. Do it at home, yeah. You know, don't don't just don't Peter Bates. Hater bait at home. Hater bait. Sure. We've, we've got a new hater bait. We, we've learned a new... Everyone has a new word. We've learned if your date is not going to your liking, oh well, that's dating. Right. Welcome to grown-up life. Like, a date is going to go one of three ways. It's going to suck. It's going to be good, and you're going to wind up in a relationship and eventually break up. Or it's going to good, be good, and you're going to wind up in a relationship and be together forever. There, there are offshoots of those things, but those are your top three outcomes, you know? None of those, I mean, well, I guess if, if you break up really badly, it could be a lawsuit. But uh, option one isn't a lawsuit unless no. there's, like, demonstrable mm. harm. Yeah. Did you, like, if she slashed your tires and broke your windshield, by all means, sue her. Because that's a fucked up thing to do. You don't get to sue your date for being annoying. No. You cock. My God, if you could, I'd be, I would have a couture war wardrobe. I'd be so wealthy. And finally, we've learned people keep just jumping the fucking fence to the White House. I mean. Stop doing that. You picked a bad week for it, friend. You are going to get tackled by the Secret Service. Yeah, well, you know what? At this I'm very small room. I actually you, I could and then put jail. Actually, I could actually the, the thought process here is would the Secret Service even really care anymore at this point? 